Hello, good morning in Madeline's Intuitive Kitchen. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. It's a little bit cool and it's great for baking. And what I have here is a Römertopf. It's made from clay. It's a European tradition and you can call it um, a clay pot, a clay pan, a covered baking clay pan or uh, however you like to call it, but it's a Römer topf, which Rome is in Italy and Römer, it's like it comes from the Italian part very very early on when they baked in clay and the benefits of it is that the moisture stays in because it's covered. Today we're making a great bread. So here we have the grains, which is like three quarters of spelt and one quarter of millet. And as you know from earlier, movies we have a grain mill which is really one should be born with a grain mill because a grain mill means that you have healthy bread because the bread you buy is usually not freshly milled and it's already oxidized it's actually nearly dead so we don't want dead bread, we want vibrant bread, mm. energetic bread, even if you can only afford a hand mill, which is uh, maybe on eBay or somewhere, just mill it yourself and then you get that. So, so you've I'm, got about five cups there, right? Yes, which will be about more or less uh, seven cups of flour, I mean, you know, it's Madeline's intuitive kitchen. So just be intuitive and what would we say, if it doesn't come out the first time, very great. So it comes out the second time. Uh, Even better. Better? And the third time it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> so you're going through a course of intuition with my videos too. So. So here we um, will put this big bowl. I will make the dough in this big bowl. So at first we mill it and and one never has to sift this because it's so beautiful, fluffy and loose. Mm -hmm. Look at this beautiful yeah. flower. And now we put some salt, about yeah, like that much. And here we have the wild yeast. Is that one of your videos? Yeah. Making the wild yeah. yeast. And, but I help out, I found this wonderful organic instant yeast mm -hmm. and, star. and I just put a tiny little hint in like because I found out that the bread gets really very good and tasty. And then when we have this all mixed up, the salt and that little bit of yeast, now we have uh, here are the bubbles and things, the yeast. We look at this, how nice. Hmm? Wow. It's really alive. Here we have some water. It's good if it's room temperature. So this is about more or less a quart. This is a good utensil. You can watch the other bread videos and get more the idea of measurements and, and 
what you like to do for your Römer Topf experience. So I use this one, they call it the bread hook. <laughs> it's a funny word. It's much easier to mix it and also you will see at one point it comes together. That's what the, they used in the old times. They used the bread hook. It was, I think, from metal, but you can just have one of the spatulas kind of getting them upside down. So here it comes nicely together. You can see it here. That's what it has to do, come together as a whole. It wants to now become bread dough. Mm. Now it doesn't even stick anymore on the pan. That's exactly the right consistency. So if it's not like this, if it's too runny, just mill some more flour or if it's too thick, add a little more water. Look at this. This, this is the right thing. Perfect. Put some love in here. And I just like to work. You just play. Like. And then at the same time, it's nice and, and slick. So you can, you no, know, you you can kind of pull it apart and then put it together again, and you can clean your counter. Hopefully, you cleaned it before already. All right, so this is actually it. So now we. Put this into bowl. We cover it and put it to a warm space, which is right here. I prepared something. This is by the oven. Mm, this one. And it will be warm spot, and it will be now. Leavening for about an hour, mm -hmm. and then we come back to you. All right, we're back in the kitchen, and here is where we left last time. Nice and warm. Let's see. Well, look at this. Look what's coming out here. So wow. this. This is what happened oh, in the meantime. And, and now we shape it, take it out from here. Now we don't need it anymore. We just, we just shape it. Look at this, how nice. Look. So much bigger. Like, like this and we can put on it some seeds like uh, sesame seeds or sunflower seeds or all kinds of things I choose to make it really rustic with just some flour. Now we get our rumor top half here and put it in in there. Mm. Wow. That's beautiful. Whoa. So there it is. Cover it once more and preheat the oven to 400. 
for half an hour. Mm -hmm. Put it right here where it's nice and warm. And we see each other in half an hour. Now it's about half an hour. And this here. Oh. Oh. Already arose a little bit. More. And now we cover it and leave it in the oven for about 35 minutes, 400, like I mentioned. It's nice and warm in here. Right. In 35 minutes, I'll see you again. Hello. <laughs> I have my thick gloves on, they're super, super thick, so no burning here. Because I will get the lid off of the rimmer top and then it will be in there for another maybe 12 or so minutes and build the crust. So let's look inside. So that's how it looks. It's already a little firm, so we see you in another about 12 minutes. All right, so now we go and look in the oven. What's up here? Mm. Take it out. It's really very hot, so I wow. recommend to have gloves, especially to handle that rimmer top. And how we check, actually, if it's ready is So when it's hollow, then it's ready. Let's see. Yeah, it's hollow. So now we take it off. Oops. It's hot. If you're cold now, come into the kitchen here. So this is it. Wow, it's beautiful. Yeah, so uh, this is now crisp on the outside the bottom is nicely baked and inside it will be soft yeah beautiful.